Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to a brand new Let's Play on the channel in Stellaris the 3.0 update and the Nemesis DLC. So, unfortunately this is a, out a few days after the DLC was officially released. Unfortunately the timing of said release of DLC did not line up well uh, in my personal life. So this is the first chance I've had to get a video out on the new DLC and I'm excited to be here. I'm excited for the 3.0 update. There are many, many things for this update uh, that I am excited for, and we will get into that here momentarily. Uh, the first one, only one at this point actually that I want to mention is the performance. That is what I'm really most interest interested in. The mechanics are great. I want to see the new mechanics, spy networks, all that stuff. Performance is what I'm going to be paying attention to, and this series is going to be slightly different. Um, it's going to be fairly heavily edited at the start of the game to somewhat highlight those new mechanics. Um, so when we're in our exploratory phase, um, there's gonna be a lot of that exploring cut out. So you'll 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 kind of see it as we get into the video. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it simple stupid in this first video here. We're gonna be playing as the Commonwealth of Man. Uh, it's the base setup for Commonwealth of Man, so nationalistic zeal, and you can pause and check out what these uh, what these effects are if you'd like. Uh, distinguished Admiralty, Xenophobe, Fanatic Militarist, Adaptive, Nomadic, and Wasteful. Only thing that I have actually changed uh, is I've changed them over to the Imperial ship sets because why not? And I've just noticed every time these things pass, you get an electric discharge. Boom, there it is. Yeah. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and the origin is Lost Colony, which is base um, to this rebuilt empire. So let's go. All right. So, um,. <sighs> I kind of want to go large. Let's go large galaxy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go large. Let's really, really test um, the ability of this game to have better performance. I don't think I want any advanced AI starts. We'll go with the three fallen empires, two marauders. I think we'll leave everything else pretty well set. I think we'll go random crisis. I don't want to know what we're going to get hit with. Leave it on Grand Admiral, scaling on, normal aggressiveness. And I think, yeah, I think that's good to go. Let's do it. All right, let's begin. All right, we're going to be in a fairly defensible position up here. The question is going to become, how far can we push out? So let's go ahead and get some research started here. Uh, always grab the research speed to start with. Um, hydroponics. Oh, well, you know what? Don't need off-world trading. That's the most expensive. I don't know why I grabbed that. Let's grab the better hydroponics farm. Um... Mining station output or minerals from jobs. Ooh. Stations are putting out 10, jobs are putting out 20. So, I mean, we're going to expand and we're going to get more stations, but this is going to be a little bit more powerful early on with the plus 5% here, I think, right? Let's do the math. 10% of 10 is 1. 5% of 20 is going to be... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be that. There we go. Let's grab that. Um, Okay. Let's go ahead and get the exploring going. Um, yes, we're going to check out that first. And I want my construction ship to build the research station here first. And go. And yeah, like I was saying, the main thing I'm focused on for uh, this DLC, uh, the hunt for Hyakinth. Uh, we have found no traces of the four arc ships that passed through the wormhole before the Crescentium who arrived at Unity. One ship of Hyanth was scheduled to make the passage after us, and the Chrysanthemums' uh, long-range sensors reported a brief energy spike from the wormhole shortly before it destabilized and vanished. Assuming they survived the passage and made it to our galactic neighborhood, the Ark ship has so far failed to establish contact with us. It might be a good idea to search nearby systems for signs of its presence. So, this is that lost colony origin. Um... A new sit rep. Where's that going to be at? Oh, oh, hello. Okay, sweet. Uh, stop tracking. Yep, we'll get out there eventually. We will get out there eventually. And actually, what I needed to do... Um, can we get another science ship? We can. I'm going to go and I'm going to sell my food. Because... I want to be able to hire... A new scientist. Uh, oh, we do have a cheap one. Oh, we could have grabbed that without selling the food. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, let's wait until that science ship is off of the production line, and then we will kind of go from there. But yeah, as I was saying, performance is what I'm really interested in this. Um, I mean, yeah, 
new UI, different planetary features is great, and we'll kind of get into that. Um, but, 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 I, you know, I, I do think performance is what it is for me. Most people that I talk to, um, either in Discord, and uh, if you want to join the Global Gamers Discord, speaking of which, uh, there's a link down in the description. Hop through there and hang out with us. We have multiplayers uh, for Stellaris uh, at least every week, uh, amongst other things. But yeah, the discussion has been the people who have somewhat walked away, it's it's been because of performance. So that's really what I'm interested to see. Uh, should we grab the cheap one? Yeah, I think early on that'll be fine. You going? And I think I'm going to send you back that away. No, I kind of want to. Ooh, that's a good. Yeah, we'll we'll get enough to do everything at some point. So. Uh, discovery of alien life. Society research out of it. Noise. And I think we're going to hold off on building the mining stations, this home system. Uh, well, let's at least get the credits rolling. Construction ship. Where's the credits we haven't built? There it is. Minerals can wait a little bit. We're producing 26, which should be enough for now. Uh, contact reports and performs of life. All right. So what I'd like to do in this series is, you know, we're going to probably starting now. Um, well, probably starting after this, we're going to start skipping a lot of the exploring until we start hitting some of those new mechanics uh, in the new DLC. So uh, this is one of the new things. So many of you may have already seen this by now, uh, but our recent encounter with alien lifeforms has reignited and made suddenly more urgent the old debate on how we should approach contacting any potential intelligent alien civilizations civilizations we may meet. While some advocate taking hostile preemptive action against them, others advise caution, pointing out that it would be wise to learn more about the aliens' capabilities before we risk antagonizing them. So we don't have this um, because, because we didn't set that in the Empire Builder, but, or I'm sorry, in the Policy Maker, uh, but it would be wise to be cautious. So we're going to be, even though we are xenophobe militarists, Let's be a little cautious. And speaking of policies, don't think we can... Okay, we have to sit on that. Yep, because we just said it. Um, All of this, I think, is good. Jeans allowed, account policy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Uh, my goal here is going to be to get four science ships going, three exploring, one assisting research. Um, And speaking of which, do I want to get another research lab going in the short term to boost our research? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. There we go. Survey speed. Gotta love it. But a world's... Yeah, might as well. Might as well. I keep having to remind myself that this isn't a roleplay series like the uh, the previous ones that we've done. Uh, if you want to check those out, those are down in the description with the Star Wars mod. But, uh, but yeah. We... Ooh, the Grudar. Uh, you report they have uncovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring species. Grunar. Or Gruner? Gruner. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments what so far have you enjoyed most about the 3.0 update and the Nemesis DLC. Um, I'm genuinely curious. Eh, we'll leave that be for now. I'm really curious, genuinely curious um, about, about what has got you excited. Um... You know, I honestly, I'm ready for spoilers. How's performance been? For those of you who have gotten to late games, what's it been like? Has the performance been better? Um, obviously, we're going to find out ourselves here in this series, but I'd like to know from you all and what your experience so far has been. How's multiplayer been? For those of you that have had the opportunity to uh, to do multiplayer. System reconnaissance completed. Uh, I think we, yeah, let's go into discovery. That's always the safe play. All right, so this is going to be our first colony over here in the Med Karash system. Um, two habitable planets, 80% and only 70, really? Um, let's research that. More strategic. Oh, that's great. Great, 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 great. Construction complete. Strategic resources and right on our doorstep. Yeah. All right, so we want to do the... 80% first, right? Yeah, they're both 18. Let's do it. How's this weather? So minus 10% habitability. We get extra energy or uh, credits from jobs. And ooh, this is going to be an energy world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
and in this, I, I do think uh, the long-term play, uh, the Lyrite Civilization Encounter. I do think the long-term play is going to be to try to take over the uh, the Galactic Senate when all that occurs um, and become the Crisis. But we'll have to see how it plays out. We'll see who's around us and all that stuff. All of this is dead end. Ooh. Ooh, I hope we don't get trapped. <laughs> I really hope we don't get trapped up here. Might as well survey all of this while you're up here, because why not? Figure out what we're going to do with you from there. Uh, and you... Might as well go hit both of those and be done with it. And you... Yeah. Oh, man. So this right here is the one way in and out. So what I need to make sure we do is we need to get down this way. We need, if at all possible, we can claim all of this later. No one's going to come take this. Unless there's an empire over here, which would be stupid as hell, and I doubt there is. What we need to do, I'd like to get to this, so we have two options out here. Even better would be to claim this and either one of these. Because, man, that... Mm, we could get really screwed here, depending on who our neighbor is. I do think we need to start beelining it down here. Because we do know that's a dead end, like we talked about. We'll build that starbase. We can fill the rest of this in later. We've got to get down this way. We take the research boost for the robot workers. 52 months, 35. Recon pass completed. I think we want the robot workers. I think we want the robot workers. Yeah, it's going to take a little longer, but I think we want those. Um, 118 days. Let's leave it for now. That's uh, that's going to be okay. CNS Remembrance has managed to isolate a residual ion trail in the Ferrari system uh, that is identical to the one that was produced by the Chrysanthemum's engines. It must have originated from the Hyanth Synth. I don't even know, man. Uh, although the faint ion trail is over a century old, science officer... Uh, Orson has managed to track it on an outbound trajectory towards a previously uncharted star. We have entered its coordinates in the situation log. Hmm. Yeah. Let's survey that. That's fine. Cue all this back up. I mean, you're up here. You might as well. Even though we desperately need to survey down here. Uh, system is surveyed. No traces. Yep. Gotta get back down here. Hey, the Hyacinth has been found. Uh, we've located the Hyacinth. Hyacinth. Yeah, sure. Uh, the Great Arc ship is parked in a stable orbit over Hark 3. No power signatures have been detected. Uh, from within its hole, and we are not picking up any distress beacons. An armed boarding party should be sent to investigate the ship's interior. New sit rep. You're up. Uh, one si Oh, it is just a science ship? I thought you'd make me send an army. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's put that to top priority over there for you. And for those of you who may not know, um... Shift right click, queues up multiple orders. Control shift right click, places the order uh, in the priority at the very top so it does it next. Um, our boarding party has returned from the ship with a gruesome report. Human remains in amounts consistent with the Ark ship's entire complement of a quarter million colonists were found on board. Most seem to have died from starvation. There were also signs of small arms fire and cannibalism. Oof. We were able to recover the captain's log from the archives on the bridge. Uh, Archive High United Nations Ulysses Initiative. Accessing data. We're two months out of Earth and proceeding on course. Things have gone smoothly so far. The colonists are fast asleep, and Dr. Kolbeck has reported strong vials across the board. Uh, journey takes us beyond the outer planets. We're now approaching the Oort Cloud. Soon reach subspace phenomenon. We've actually made it to... Interesting. Here we go. Uh, the situation has gone from bad... It's bad. Complete loss of power. We are currently running on batteries. Oh, that's not great. 
Um, Colbeck has informed me that we may need to wake up the colonists. I'm on my way down to engineering now to see why Maggie is taking her sweet time getting the reactor up and running again. Hopefully, we can get underway and soon begin our search for the Chrysanthemum's colonists. The situation has gone from bad to worse. There is no longer any realistic hope of restarting the reactor. And the last part of the hyacinth power reserves were spent in our attempt to reach this misbegotten system. We had hoped to find some place habitable to set her down, but no such luck. We've got enough juice in the batteries to keep life support going for a few years, but with a quarter million colonists up and about, the hyacinth food supply won't last the month. I've called a meeting with all department heads. We need to come up with some sort of plan. This will likely be my final log. Um, so this is date 459.9, which is about a month after the previous one. Uh, my bridge crew is either dead or missing, and a group of colonists are trying to force their way onto the bridge as I speak. Our main food supplies ran out weeks ago, and there, there are reports of cannibalism. I kept a small stash of food for the crew to keep the old girl running a little while longer, hoping for some kind of miracle, I guess. When the surviving colonists found out, they... They're coming through the doors. Back, damn you. Keep your distances. I'm the captain of the ship, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let you butcher me like a... Ah. All right. Okay, so final conclusions. We now have a pretty clear picture of the grim fate that befell the Hyacinth, her crew and the colonists she was carrying. Had circumstances been different, it could very well have been the chrysanthemum drifting above Hark 3 like a silent tomb, a sobering reminder of the dangers humanity has faced with a cold and uncaring universe. The Hyacinth will now be towed into low orbit of unity and converted into a museum as soon as the human remains have been cleared out. Despite its tragic history, the Arkship is almost identical to the one that brought our ancestors here from Earth, and our sociologist team would, lear would could learn much from it. And we get some society research. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, do need a job here. This is. Hmm we make this an energy or a generator world i think we do that's gonna end up being mining for sure yep let's start out with that we'll, we'll start with that food is good consumer goods nah, need to get going at some point this is producing both at some point, once we get the tech, we'll want to specialize this. Or, I don't know, let me know. Capital World, should we leave this producing both? Um, the way you specialize this, for those of you that may not know, is either the energy grid or the... Oh man, I think it's mining network. Uh, or not mining network. Um, sorry, wow, I am... Ooh, totally off basis. If I were to build an alloy foundry here, it would convert this all to alloys. If I built a civilian industries here, it would convert this all to consumer goods from what I understand. So let me know, should we leave our capital as producing both? Oh, we didn't research the pops, did we? Yeah, should we leave it as both or at some point should we specialize it? System reconnaissance Let's grab this real fast. Grab that. So on wow, so we get strong magnetic field and magnetic mi miracle. So we're getting plus twenty five percent physics, and then plus wow, yeah, we need to science the crap out of this. We need to take advantage of that. Okay, um, wow, we found an abandoned gateway uh, near Quiet Dark. Where's this? Ooh, yeah, an L gate. Ooh, an L gate. Yep. Let's actually take a look. That's not what I want. System reconnaissance completed. New ship corvettes. Complete. And speaking of which, um, ship designer. I early on want to run this guy. So I want to run the missile boat. Let's auto complete it. Um, until they get point defense, missiles are going to be pretty effective. Um, so we're going to go with that. Um, we've detected the signs of coming from the reef. Research it. And research it. 
All right, you've automatically decided you're a generator world, apparently. Um, alien writing. Fascinating. You do need a job and more housing. System reconnaissance completed. Uh, generally speaking, I like to go with the city districts and get extra housing so we don't have to worry about it. Stability is low. Let's let's get a city district. Not have to worry about housing for a little while. Uh, and then you. I think we straight away need to get... Oh, we have to go up to a planetary administration. Which is how many pops? And... Crap. Um, we'll go to mining first. We'll get that going. Uh, Sonified Science. CNS Remembrance has successfully has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interference 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 on the Ludra. Get some research out of it. It's nice, nice. Mm. Oh no. Automated dreadnought. Where? Where, 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 where? Taking evasive holy crap. Holy crap, holy crap. Okay. That's not bad, actually. Whoa! Look at this system. Oh, there she is. Okay, well, at least it's parked in a dead end up here. Yeah, you need to be getting the hell out, which it looks like you are. And let's send you out this way. I mean, that's basically reserving it for us, right? <laughs> uh, we are but motes of dust. So, whenever we feel like taking that, we can take that. Theater experience gain, let's grab that. Man, I am surprised we have not run into... Another planet yet. Another planet. Another empire yet. Unless, like I said, we're incredibly isolated up here. Which is a distinct possibility. Um, that should help the stability here. Science division reports the new. Uh, Seventy days. All right. Uh, a boost to energy. Good. Ooh, there's our energy grid right there. We could get that going super early. Alternatively, let's get the survey. Automated surveying, so I don't have to sit here and micromanage that. Uh, and lastly... Oh, we did finish robotics. Okay. Let's get better armor for the ships. Let's do that. Alright, so we can get robots going. So that's going to cost us two alloys per month. Which I don't think I'm ready. Oh, hey, 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 whoa, guys. We're just sitting around? Just sitting around. Okay. Go research that anomaly. Uh, and then, honestly. Now. You go that way. You are literally just sitting. Okay. That's a dead end, too. Man. Very defensible start to this if... If it ends up working out how I think it's going to work out. Let's get these alloys. Uh, enigmatic spacefarers. Worrying. Uh, here we go. First contact with something. We made for contact with mysterious aliens in the Sanopel system. Okay. So, this is one of the new mechanics. So what we got to do is we got to assign an envoy, and we only get two to start, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but basically, you're signing an envoy to investigate and find out more. So, let's get this lady here assigned, and let's see what we can find out. Let's go ahead and build robot assembly on... Is this going to be a generator world? I think it was. 
Yeah, let's get that going, because that alloy right there is going to offset. Offset what we're using to build our robots there. And I think it gives what? A, a job? It's not going to it's not going to let me see. The jobs are full here. I don't know if this is the right move in the new build, but I think I want to go with another science building here. Because right now it's the only place we can build them. Uh, and then we'll we'll move some pops around. Oh, hello, actually. Encounter in Hakaja. Okay, we've got another one that we got to do. Build one of these guys. Early on, I, I don't think I'm going to speed too much into specializing my planets. Long term, we're going to want them specialized. But for now, we want resources where we can get them when we need them. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, another strategic resource. Nice. All right. Yep. All right, let's get another envoy assigned and find out who these people are. Um, this does make it even more important that if they are here, we need to get to at least... Oh no, we're boxed in. If if this is an empire, which I doesn't look like it's going to be... I don't think this is going to be an empire. This is going to be like mining drones or something like that. Uh, we're boxed over here, and we need to be able to expand this way. We need to get to here to cut them off. I know we're going way over Empire Sprawl here. We'll offset a little bit with the research labs. At least on the research front. Everything's going to be more expensive. Um, the tree... Among the asteroids around SA-093-0004, a tree is drifting through the emptiness of space. An unprecedented and highly unlikely event. The tree is surrounded in a protective bubble reminiscent of an energy shield. Suddenly, we detect some hostile space dwellers on approach. This coincided with some sap leaking through the tree, tree's shield while we contact collected samples. I can't read today. Could it have agitated the creatures? How is this? This is new. New sit rep. Ah. So we just think it's a tree. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you run away. Science ship reports enemy. Oh contact. no! Did he get out? <gasps> he got it. So System reconnaissance completed. Wait, 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 wait. Is there... Before they seem to be hostile. Wait, 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 wait. Did it... This is Charlie Bogies. It's locked. Didn't I... Oh, I wonder why it's locked. That's interesting. Okay, well, maybe there is an empire up here. That would be unfortunate. That'd be real unfortunate. Recon pass completed. But... We have I, claimed a new yeah, we claimed that world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was... I'm stupid. <laughs> it was waiting on an event. Ooh, gotta love new mechanics. Okay, consumer goods. Hello. Is that what you're building? Yes, you're building an industrial district, which should offset that. Yep. Well, assuming somebody's working it. But yeah, we'll we'll get that offset a little bit here. We'll go up that way, get a little bit more sensors out here. Yeah, and that all sounds good. But I do think we're going to unwrap this episode up here. Let me know 
again, as I said earlier, what do you think about the new update and the Nemesis DLC so far? Let me know that down in the comments. Also interested to hear what you guys think about our situation. Um, starting off... That changed color. That was weird. Okay. Um, yeah, let me know. What do you think our situation and what should we be doing as far as expansion goes? Leave all of that down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.